Greg and I have just arrived in uh, Virginia City, which is uh, sort of what Bodie would have become if it hadn't failed. Uh, this is, it sort of looks like a ghost town now because it really, I think we're here kind of early. What do you, what do you say, Greg? I don't think it opens at 10. We hope so. So we're down in the Mark Twain Museum. One of the destinations I definitely wanted to go to in Virginia City was here. As well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's unimpressed, but actually this is where Mark Twain first started using the name Mark Twain as opposed to Samuel Clemens, his real name. And, uh, and this guy doesn't appreciate history. Whoa, whoa. This, what is this, Greg? Well, obviously, this is a linotype. <laughs> as you read. A linotype, the but first keyboard is state. Before they had the internet, they had this. I get cell phone reception. This is sort of the internet of the 1860s. When Mark Twain was cooped up down here, you know, doing his, his, his writing, he was a writer, in case you was not I hear he? I hear he began to write the Jumping Frogs of Calaveras County. Yes, he? he did write the Jumping Frogs of Calaveras County right down here. <laughs> Calaveras. And when you're cooped up down here, you need water. Mark what? Twain slept. Exactly. This deal, Mark Twain slept right here. Yes, it says right it right here. there. Right here, where my hands are. Mark Twain was here 150 years ago. His butt was probably where your hand is. Yes, now what's significant <laughs> about that, you may ask? You what? may ask. Why? What is significant? It was a gathering place. This table was a gathering place. If you read... This was his, his nervous system, if you will. This was his, his cell phone. This was the smartphone of the day where he, he did everything. I have other information for you. What's that? In, eight, in 1863... Mark Twain began his book, The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County, on this very table. This is an historic table. But here's the thing. Who's giving the tour? You and me. I'm giving you correct information, and you are then going to interpret it your own special way. Okay, now let me break it down for you. The reality is... Get, get, get that out of my face. <laughs> the reality is that, that, that uh, with, with this table here... And, and what know, was the book that he started writing on this table? The Jumping Hyenas of, of County Clark, Santa Clara, New Jersey. You think you know everything, don't you? I know everything oh. there is to know. Whoa, whoa. Who are you? Who, who are you? Do I even know you? My name's Rich, and, and this is what I do. I don't think we can possibly be related. <laughs> How do you know your future if you don't know your past? I have a How do you know your future if you don't know your past? We are about to go on a mine tour. We're next to this classic, classic old car. Um, this is the car you learned to drive in, isn't it? Do you even know how to drive? Oh, good one. See, it's good. He likes to talk a lot. Likes to talk a lot. Never makes, never makes much sense, but he likes to talk a lot. Makes more sense than you. Thirty-two cents. Is that what they, what they pay you in prison? <laughs> he's, he's on probation. Or, uh, excuse me, he's on his weekend pass. <laughs> Thank you. We are in this tunnel. We'll go back into this room in the back here. And this tunnel is the only thing left today of the collar mine. Nothing else exists anymore. You never, never find anything. In the mine. Oh, impressed, Greg? <laughs> uh, not at you, though. Oh, oh, finally. <laughs> I can stand up. Whew. Yep. God, did you get that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I was at a. At a... Oh, all right. I caught that on, on uh... Did you get that? Yeah, I did. Good. <laughs> Better watch yourself, Greg. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. All right. Thank Kill you very Leo. much. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> a nice kid for breakfast. What is it with you? I think 
I'll choose this. 